How's it going everybody? This is Vaughn. We're back here with some more American Truck Simulator, as usual. <laughs> uh, today we're checking out the Kenworth T909 mod. This is cab uh, C option. Uh, so they've got cab A, B, C, and D. Uh, so we went with the C option here. Uh, hell of a truck, man. We've got, uh, <laughs> you can see in our tanks, uh, we've got 634 gallons of diesel available. Um, perfect for long trips. Uh, we've got a Cummins Signature 700 uh, chipped engine in here, so 700 horsepower engine. Uh, we've got an 8x6 chassis, I believe, uh, as well. Uh, so, it, really, everything is is uh, <laughs> is you're not lacking anything with this with this guy. Uh, let's just take a quick look around. You can see all the uh, the detail put into it. I love the tanks especially. We've got some LEDs on there as well. Uh, and then we've got, uh, let's see, what else have we got? Got our air horns, got our lights up there. Bull bar right there. And then we've got our little, uh, our duck there on the <laughs> on the hood, little ornament. Um, awesome detail in this truck. Um, we've also got, uh, we're pulling Ruta's uh, tanker trailer as well, so. We are 45 minutes away from picking up our shipment, so we're going to go ahead and get going. And uh, I'm going to show you something really cool about the interior. Let's go ahead and hop in here. Uh, we've also got a carbon fiber dash as well. It's a pretty simple truck model. There's not, you know, too much to mess around with inside, but I mean, hey, it's it looks pretty good, <laughs> keeping it very simple. Uh, we've got our GPS, of course, right there on the bottom right and everything. Uh, mirrors looking good as well. Uh, and then as you saw, we've got some LEDs on our mirrors and the filters as well. So let's go ahead and uh, turn this on. And uh, here's another cool thing. Watch the steering wheel. That's pretty cool. Steering wheel animation. I love that. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to have to move my microphone up just a little bit so I can keep my, my head more upright. Okay, take our parking brake off, uh, let's make sure, so that's the other thing, we don't really have too much visibility on our dash lights, so back, back lights are pretty low. Let's see if we can adjust the uh, brightness, eh, just a little bit, didn't really do much. But uh, we've got brights on here as well too, so. All right, let's get going. I think we took our parking brake off, so we should be good to go with that. Yeah. I'm going to get going here pretty quick. I want some oncoming traffic to hit us. Oh, uh, shoot. Uh, this dude is... Wow, this dude is not letting us go, man. <laughs> wow. Oh, now you are. Okay. Yeah, I see how that is. Jeez, man. Never fails to be off to a rock rocky start with uh, when it comes to AI traffic, man. I never know when when to actually be assertive and when to not, because <laughs> uh, they they never seem to they never seem to figure it out. But oh well. Uh, so we are in Texas today. I believe we are in uh, Waco right now. Uh, so we're picking this up and taking this to, I think, Ardmore, Oklahoma. If I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, so it's not too far of a drive. It's about, uh, I want to say, four and a half, five hours. So just wanted to check out this mod because uh, I'd seen it before. Um, and I believe that it comes from all mods or something like that. I'll have a link to it. Um, and you can also see the credits, you know, where it, uh, where it comes from. So, uh, but it looks pretty good. Um, I, I, I like it a lot. I like the, the, uh, engine as well. Sounds pretty cool. It's a nice, nice sounding engine. I have not tried the brake, the Jake yet. So let's try that. That's pretty simple. It's not not so much going on with that one, but um, yeah, considering it's free, I mean, you get a, a hell of a truck. I mean, it's it's got all the uh, 
little uh, gauges, the detail in the gauges, and uh, you know, like I said, there's not a lot going on in here, but I'm not, I'm not one for super flashy stuff, you know. Whoa, did we miss our turn? Oof. I think we did. Whoops. We just added two hours to our drive. Okay, well, we're not going to do that. We're going to... Hopefully, we can pop in here and do a U-turn. I'm going to go real slow, just in case. Sometimes these spots don't let you drive in there. Oh, are we actually going to be able to pull in here? Oh, no. Damn. Man, I hate when that happens. <laughs> That is a complete mistake on my part, not uh, paying attention. We're going to have to do a U-turn right here in the middle of the street, guys. So I'm not adding unnecessary time to our, our drive here. Oh, and by the way, uh, the improved chasing camera is back, as you can see. Um, I guess there was some kind of um, issue with uh, when I took the mod out for the uh, the cannon or no, we didn't take it out for the cannonball, but we I had to replace the files uh, a few times to get the the cannonball stuff set up properly. So I think that's where it uh, that's where something got messed up. But uh, yeah, we're back on it now, so working good now. Uh, the cab camera as well is also working. Yep, we completely did miss our turn. We're too busy yakking and yakking. Turn left. I'm not sure which uh, facility we're picking up from. We'll find out here shortly. We're also rocking the uh, wheel cam back there. I think it adds a pretty cool element to the video, so I've been liking running with that uh, <laughs> with our, our wheel cam on. Okay, looks like a BP. Yep, that's where it is. Okay, so I think right here we can check the job. Man, I always pass those things, dude. Never fails. <laughs> I am always passing those darn things. I can never see them from the uh, from the inside view. I'm just blind, I guess. All right, so. Waco to Ardmore, it's a shipment of crude oil, 37,000 pounds worth, so let's pick her on up. Let's see where we're going. Uh, somewhere over there, so. I'm sure we have to go through this entrance here first to get over there. Making sure it's not in one of these spots that we might miss it oh no it's way over here okay right there cool I'm gonna see if possibly we can turn around here uh it's gonna be tight though Hmm. Yeah, they don't really give you a lot of room to do your thing, do they? Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to jackknife this thing. 
Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just plan to go back. Let's just plan to go backwards. Take it this way, because I don't think we have... Yeah, we don't got room back there to... Change our course. Man, I gotta get my... My mic placement figured out. Because I keep, uh... <laughs> keep hitting it with my, my head tracker thing. Is there a place over here we can pull into, maybe? Kind of, but not really. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to keep taking it out this way. We can use that little pocket, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's give ourselves more room. So what we're going to do, we're going to come around like this. Cut it this way. Right into this pocket. And we'll just kind of try to get it to start turning around the other way. Oh, unless we can actually... Nah, probably be too hard. Oh man, it's always a pain. Getting these things where you want it. Yeah, if I was smart, I would have just. Let's see, maybe we can get it to curve enough this way. That ought to work, actually. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Straight it out some more, and then we can just go back. Yeah, we're cheating a little bit, but... Just want to make sure we can get out of here and get the job started, not spend too long with this. Perfect. All right. Stop our engine and then we will get our crude oil loaded up. All right. Let's get a rolling. Oh, actually I underestimated. So it's uh, five, just over five hours drive, which is cool with us. Sure, our brights are working there. And I actually kind of like that it's a, a night drive because now we can see our, <laughs> see and appreciate our dashboard. Uh, we've got a radio player up there as well. Uh, 
that's pretty cool. And uh, like I said, it's it doesn't come with too much customization. You can you can add other stuff uh, like on the console Get ready to turn if you want to, but uh, I don't know. I I just I kept it pretty clean in here. Uh, right. But it's a really decent truck. Definitely appreciate John Ruta's uh, tanker as well. All the lighting on there, and then it's got lights on the other side as well. Marker lights. Um, all the detail in the uh, towards the middle of the trailer, you can kind of see it there as well. But um, yeah, it's a beautiful, tra beautiful trailer. And lots of detail on it, as per usual, <laughs> with John Ruta's mods to appreciate. So. out of here so let's uh, we don't have a lot of visibility that way oh let me just start pulling out here oh he's letting us go okay cool I had no idea he was even there I'll tell him thank you appreciate you Seven high here. So yeah, I'll have the mod in there. Um, see if uh, you guys might be interested in uh, in trying it out. Um, I also meant to check if because uh, I, I usually check with most trucks that I get if um, if uh, goggles has a skin out there because I I like his uh, his old school skins. Oh man, not these dudes. Ah, oh, God. I always run into these guys. The the working vans with the glass on the side. <laughs> it always, like, it doesn't matter what area you're driving in. They always drive like it's a school zone. All the time. It's on my last nerve, man. All right, we're going to be passing them up because, yeah, I can't. I can't go this slow, dude. Not in a 70, it was 75 back there, but 70 miles per hour zone, we can afford to go a lot faster. Get ready to turn right. We got people waiting on our shipment of uh, oil, so. Turn right, and then turn left. weird. He said turn right and then turn left. That didn't make any sense. Anywho, um, it's kind of a cold morning today. It's in the uh, mid-40s uh, where I live right now in San Antonio, Texas. Got some decent rain last night. I heard it... Uh, thundering as well so we got uh, we got to ni a nice amount of rain last night oh green light cool so that was awesome to hear um we uh needed it as well cause it's been it hasn't been completely dry um winter but we haven't gotten as much uh, as much rain as we probably need. So, that was good that we got some last night. Decent amount. Go straight. Oh man, we're gonna be turning right up here. Oof. Okay, we gotta start getting over now. 
Oh, shoot. We're in a bad place. Maybe we can squeeze in up there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, okay. Jeez. We were cutting that close. Okay, we're gonna go here. This is not totally not illegal. <laughs> Shoot, man, we just cut off that guy so bad. Exit now. If you're taking notes, and this is how then not to right. drive. Then turn right. Turn right. Okay. <laughs> That's how not to do it, okay? And uh, I promise I don't drive like this in real life. I'm, I'm just... Uh, <laughs> I'm just impatient. There's Waco Stadium. Oh, come on, 40. Well, I guess we're not on the interstate yet. Yeah, yeah, we're slowing down. Really got to work on my patience. Get the green light. Let's go. Yeah, we ain't stopping now. <laughs> okay, we didn't get the red. Red light. Uh, penalty. Here we go. Now we can start speeding up. So this is 35, if I'm not mistaken. Highway 35 that we're on now. Very cool stuff. Um, I'm thinking for the next the next video, uh, there's also another truck that I've downloaded as well. Uh, it's a Mac truck. Um, I had some issues getting it working because um, even though it's got all the engines that show up from uh, Creech Bomb, there's not support for all, each engine that shows up. On the, and the Zmod ones show up in there as well, but if you select any of those other engines, uh, you get a crash. <laughs> Game crash. So when you're, when you're customizing the truck, you gotta only pick the... Uh, engines that I guess come with it uh, that come with the mod uh, or else that happens and um, Stay it's kind of a shame because I'm not a fan of the engines that, that do work uh, they're they're okay but it's they're not they're not the best the truck's cool though it's it's also pretty basic um, but uh, oh man one above 80. Shoot. I don't think we're going to get miles. Stay left. Man, that sucks. Well, it's not it's not too far of a drive anyway, but uh, I hate that I don't get real miles for that. In fact, I don't even know if Chuck's book's were, but Chuck's book is is weren't running right now. But eh, that's the problem. I'm never I'm never watching my speed the way I should. Um but yeah, the Mac, uh, I want to say it's like a GH06, something like that. Um, yeah, the highest you can go with the engine is like, I think 505 horsepower. Uh, so, it's not it's not anything terrible. Like, uh, it's got some also pretty basic uh, transmission options. Um, I'm not even sure... Maybe when I, uh, in the next video, when I use that mod, I'll show you the setup, like how it looks 
Golly, these speed changes. Um, I'll show you how it looks when you're first setting it up. That way you can also see the uh, the whole deal about the the engine aspect where you have to uh, make sure you're selecting one of the supported engines. Uh, and then we'll uh, drive it around a little bit. Uh, so I've got the mod already. It's, it's over in my... Um, let me think here. I want to say it's in my Amarillo garage. Same as this truck. So... Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that next next video. We'll uh, kind of run through the that mod a little bit. Um, as I said, it, it's pretty basic. <laughs> not a lot going on. Not a lot of customization. Uh, the dash also looks pretty basic. But, I mean, it's a cool truck. I've definitely seen worse. <laughs> uh, I forget which mod it was. It was like a, uh, was a Peterbilt something or other. Uh, I watch a lot of Jeff Famigliano's videos, a lot of his ATS. He's, he's got a an awesome ATS series going. But he does have a few trucks that he tries out that are absolutely horrendous. Like the uh, he tries out the uh, the Tesla uh, semi, and you know obviously there's no denying it. It's a it's a beast of a truck. It's all electric, and it's I mean. It, if you were if you were putting a race together, Tesla would beat out any any diesel engine, no doubt about it, because of how how fast it takes off. Um, and it's you know electric, so the only noise you're going to be hearing is the road noise. Absolutely no engine noise. Um, so I guess if you're into that, you can you can get that, but I'm I'm not about it. I I like the classics. I like the I like a nice, deep, throaty engine. Uh, I want to be able to hear it. Uh, plus, I mean, the Tesla is just ugly, dude. Like it, it looks like it looks like something out of a out of a space movie or something. As as is the usual with uh, a lot of Tesla's d designs. So I know that's the point, but it's it's just I'm not about it at all. So Jeff Fabiano does. Uh, he's got two videos with the Tesla. And, uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's not about it. It's not for me. That is. Might be for others, but not for me. Um, and then. Oh, lane ending. Stay left. Uh, he also did a, uh, that's the one I was, I was getting to. Uh, it was a Peterbilt something. It was. T it took the cake for like the ugliest truck that I've ever seen. Uh, I can't remember the exact model. I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to hunt it down and find it. But oh my goodness, the the inside, the interior. Basically, it looked like I built it. <laughs> it, it was the interior. It had I want to say at the most five gauges. Uh, probably had you know the odometer, speedometer gas gauge maybe that's about all I can remember so you, you can just imagine you know this huge dash inside this huge semi with only a few gauges and even so the like no detail looked like plastic everywhere it looked like something out of uh, Roblox or something like that which you know if that kind of model showed up in Roblox and be like okay that's pretty cool obviously a lot more detail <laughs> for Roblox but not for this game for this game I mean it's it's all about the detail to make it as real as possible I mean, it's a truck sim literally so it's you're trying to simulate you know real life trucks uh, so you know I'm sorry to whoever made that mod but you you uh, they need some some work on that one. I'll have to hunt down the video. It's kind of like you can't. I I could barely even sit through the video because of course Jeff drives uh, in realistic mode like I do, like almost everybody does. 
So, you know, you're in inside the cab looking at it the entire time. The entire video. I mean, it's just... Ugh. Not good. I, uh... I don't, uh... I wasn't a fan of that truck. That mod at all. So it's stuff like that that was like... Where I go, Jeff, what are you doing, man? Like, you gotta... You gotta filter out the, uh... The mods that just don't work. And this one's one of them things that just does not work. It's it's so like it's got so much detail missing. It's it's just like not, not even that it's missing. It's just, it just was never put in. But anyway, that's my rant about it. So going back to this truck, I've definitely seen worse. I've definitely seen <laughs> trucks like that. Uh, so considering what you get with this one, even though it may not have all the customization you might want it's it's still very decent for the fact that it's free um, and uh, I think it does do a I think it does do the, the real truck pretty good justice so. some kind of sound sound glitch with the Jake there it's kind of weird Ardmore, two miles. Left. We've got an 18 speed in here, as usual. I can't remember, I don't think it's got a retarder built in. Oh boy. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, shoot. Golly. We just about almost took that guy out, man. Come on. Man, that was close. Exit right. Sorry to whoever was behind me there. But I had to think quick on my feet there to avoid a wreck. And we're pulling, uh, what, 37,000 pounds of Turn right. of oil behind us. We ain't slowing down. Are you letting us go? Cool. Appreciate you, man. Nice Mustang. Didn't really have to. There was no one else behind him, but <laughs> appreciate the gesture. I mean, yeah, if you look at the, you can see it a lot clearly in the light, a lot more clearly in the light. It's a pretty decent uh, dash we got there, and you can see the uh, interior is pretty detailed. Cab back there, is, it's not a lot going on, but it's, it's, it's got what it needs. And I love the carbon fiber. I'm a sucker for carbon fiber in, in any truck. That's what I've got in my freight shaker and... Uh, See, do I have that in the Ironworks W900 as well? Can't remember. Um, but yeah, man, I'm a huge sucker for carbon fiber. So I love that this truck has it. So of course, it's a no-brainer for me. That's that's what I'm going with. Every now and then I will put in something different to shake it up a little bit. Like I think in the Highway Killer I've got the uh, wood Go green straight. dash, I'm pretty sure. I do believe.
I'm gonna just keep sitting up higher. Maybe I need to, I think I know what I need to do. I need to put my head tracker thing on the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Because there, there's a spot where I can bump it up a little bit to make it higher. That way I'm not, there we go. I need to have like that full range of motion where I can turn completely without hitting the mic. I need to figure that out. I know I said that in the last video as well, but it is still a problem. <laughs> I'm ashamed to admit. I kind of just like put stuff together and don't really pay any mind to placement of everything until I start driving around so I can figure it out then. Stay right and then continue straight. Let's see if we can get the green light. I got my foot on the brake though just in case. Go straight. Alright. Yeah, once you get past a certain point, even before the light, I mean there's you just know that, like you're you're not left. you're not stopping. Once you get to a certain point, you ain't stopping. Turn left. So we went from BP to BP, looks like. Stay right, and then turn right. All right, we've got to do a security check here. Turn right. Yep. All right. Sweet. It's like we passed. They're letting us through. Let's go ahead and get our four ways on here since we're within the facility now. Fellow left. trucker there. Turning left. So where's our drop off Go point? Straight. Here? You have arrived at your destination. Is it back there maybe? In some weird frame uh lag right now. really sure which uh okay not through there so it's got to be over here not actually been to this facility before let's see get through here there we are That is us. So I reckon we can kind of follow it pretty straight back. Uh, probably go into my, let's roll down our window. So we can get our outside view going on. Too tight. So need to make sure we clear this pole. I think we'll probably have to straighten out. Yeah, because we're about to hit Mr. Trailer over there. We don't want to do that. Let's see, do we have... 
We have a barrier on our right. Oh, no, we don't. Okay, sweet. So we actually have a lot more room than I thought. Cool. I thought we had a barrier on our right. For some reason. Okay. So let's take it a little back this way. As long as we clear this trailer. Oh, I don't think we're going to at that. <laughs> it's really misleading. Oh, okay, now I can see a little better. Okay. Ah, it's hard to see with our pipes over there. Okay, yeah, we cleared it pretty good, so... I'm not too worried about the trailer now. Ah, don't stall on us, man. I always seem to do that, too. I always seem to just get too... <laughs> Too anxious. And, uh, either I don't give it enough gas or I let off the clutch too quick. And this trailer isn't the easiest to turn either. But we're gonna straighten her out again. Like this. It helps that we've got a lot of room to play with over here. It's not as straight as I would like it to be, but... See if we get the green anyway. Sweet. Okay. Uh, I'm satisfied with that. It's not completely 100% straight, but... Definitely made a proper mess out of it, though. <laughs> Backing in and out there. Anyway, we got an excellent... So it's crude oil delivered from Waco to Ardmore. Uh, not bad of a drive. It's a little over five hours. Uh, we got an excellent there. So that is that. I'll have a link to that truck so you can go and check it out. Absolutely free, Kenworth T909, and we're driving with cab C with this one. Uh, you do get nice customization on the outside. Uh, on the inside, it's a little bit more basic, but I think the outside is where it counts more, to be honest. Uh, so I, I'm liking it a lot. I'll definitely be driving this truck around a lot. Uh, I'll be hanging out in my Amarillo garage. <laughs> so, yep, definitely check it out. Uh, check out check out Ruta's Tanker trailer as well. I'll have a link to... Uh, that's part of the USA trailer pack. It's, uh, I want to say, 25 bucks on buyjohnruta.com. So I'll have a link to both of those uh, in the description. Um, thanks for sticking around. Please remember to subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And please drop a like while you're at it. I appreciate the love, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.